Okay, here we are with some finely chopped up red cabbage leaves, which we made in the vegetable blender. And we're transferring them from a saucer into a beaker, where we can then add some hot water and try to extract the pH sensitive dye from the red cabbage. There's a pigment in the red cabbage leaves that is sensitive to acids and bases. We want to get that out and use it. Here's some water recently boiled in a tea kettle. Pour it into the beaker, about half a cup. Stir it up and try and crush the red cabbage leaves that have been ground up so that they release the pigment. We're going to try to transfer the indicator now to another beaker and filter out the residue, the paper cabbage the red cabbage leaves with the paper towel. Now we have the indicator, and what we do is we add the indicator to some prepared solutions of ammonia and water. We just made there some baking soda and water, and some um, vinegar and water. You can see the vinegar and the water mix. On the left, it turned pink, the baking soda is blue, and the ammonia is green. Now we try some other substances. Milk of magnesia. Plain water, mouthwash, and lemon juice. There's the milk magnesia on the right of the ammonia. You see it's also green. The lemon juice is on the left of the vinegar. It's also red. The mouthwash is sort of in between neutral and acid. And again, the milk of magnesia all the way on the right, we have it. But it's a little bit blue, I think, next to the ammonia. So we have our scale of pHs, which we constructed using our red cabbage pH indicator.